Hi, Christian Henson from Spitfire Audio here, having a look at the newly refined Hans Zimmer Percussion, which is Hans's amazing mixes and a selection of world-class musicians playing Hans's very specific selection of instruments. Now, something a lot of people don't know about Hans is he is fascinated by the quietest possible layers of sampling. So whilst you may think of this kind of thunderous cinematic percussion range, it's not just about twatting it on a keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a boring cue and I'm going to spice it up with some of the finer layers of Hans Zimmer percussion to show you how these beautiful recordings can add interest to a really mediocre cue. I'm going to start with my favourite sound, the sound I use to write most of my music with, which is the Spitfire Chamber Strings Ensemble's Long Flautando. I'm not going to use a controller or anything, I'm just going to play some boring chords straight in. So here we go. Something a lot of people don't realise is there's an amazing timpani library within Hands of a Percussion, and what makes it very special is there's not just one player, but three, and there's all of these amazing spatial things that happen with the kind of minute tuning differences of uh, three different timpani. So instead of doing the big bangy ones, I'm going to do the rod hits, which are the kind of the hot rods, the little bits of uh, stick kind of bound together, um, playing very softly. And because I'm a bit of a twatter, um, I'm going to actually take the uh, velocity that I'm playing in at down by 35 to get the absolute quietest layers. Now the, the, the big beaters have a much bassier sound but the hot rods just kind of skimming the top of the drum. Okay, now what I'm going to do is quantize that to 16B, um, which is just slightly swung, which I kind of prefer. And then I'm going to use the Darbuka, again, really quiet levels, and I'm going to add just a bit of stereo delay in there. So let's have a go at that. fill in the holes with another drum and we've got these great buckets which I'll use as a kind of hi-hat part almost so they go really quiet Now what I'm going to do is switch to these uh, paper dyons. It's basically it's a drum with a newspaper on the top. It's got this great kind of dead, sharp attack, but really dead sound. And what I've done is I've just added a bit of stereo delay, but with it really high pass filters up the top, so the repeats are just very bright. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to actually repeat the first half of the buckets because it gets a bit busy. What I need now is just something low and boomy. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the low booms and I'm just going to boost a little bit of the bottom end to hype that a bit and then just incidentally going to replay that in. Let's loop those. I think it's really nice. I'm just going to add a bit of flair to the Darbuka track. Might take those uh, stereo delays off. Just going to add some little flimble flambles. Gonna tighten up a couple of those notes there. Just a bit ahead of the beat, me getting excited. So just a demonstration of those beautiful soft uh, layers to add intrigue to a boring kind of string patch, albeit on a lovely sound. Thanks as always for watching. If you like what we do, hit like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe.